Let's go to Cheryl, line number two. Come on in, Cheryl. Hey, thanks, Egberto. Um, I was wondering if you, I'm just hearing various debates, mm -hmm. and I think it's time for, for somebody, and you're a good person to do it, to do a quick little paragraph talk about the difference between single payer, Medicare for all, and universal health care. Okay, let me, this, I, I, let me do that, and, and thank you so kindly for that question, okay? Yes. All, first of all, universal health care can be single payer. Medicare for all can be single payer. Here's what it really means. Sing, uh, right now, our system is bastardized. What it means is that we have several different, uh, several different companies paying a bill. So let's say you go to get help from, I mean, get support from a doctor, get, get it taken care of by a doctor. That doctor has to figure out which insurance company or which entity, Medicare governmental entity or insurance entity, is going to pay him for serving you. What that means is that doctor's office has to have staff in to talk to all these different people who have different rules on how to pay a bill. Well, now, you can actually have Medicare for All that has that same problem. So Medicare for All does not have to be single payer. In fact, uh, what, that's why whenever I write about this issue, I write about single payer Medicare for All. In other words, Medicare for All simply says, Absolutely everybody has a right for health care and they will have health care. That's Medicare for all. Now, universal health care says we try to cover everybody, but uh, it, it is all based on cost, right? You're going to have to, you don't, in, you don't in, in, inherently have health care. You still have to go out there and buy it, which means also that you can choose not to buy it. Universal health care doesn't mean you have health care. It means everybody can have health care. Medicare for all means by being in this country, you have health care. So what we really want is single-payer Medicare for all, meaning whenever that doctor needs to get his bill paid, he goes to the, the, the administrators of Medicare for all, and gets a bill. One person to contact or one entity to contact to get paid for the service every single American and resident is entitled to. Did I make that clear enough? Um, I, that's interesting because it's not exactly the answer that I thought was correct. Okay. Um, and I trust you more than me, so mm -hmm. I just have clarifying questions. Um, so it's interesting that Medicare for All is the one that you are implying is the most comprehensive because there's so many people now with the current Medicare system that say, oh, Medicare, Medicaid, whatever doesn't cover that. And I had always thought Universal was the most comprehensive. I love that you asked that. Here is what they did. They bastardized Medicare for all. There's, there, or rather, uh, we are not talking Medicare as you know it right now only, okay? Right now, uh -huh. Medicare as you know it, there's Medicare Part A, Medicare Part B, Medicare Part yeah. C, Medicare Part D. And also, there is Medicare Advantage. I don't remember which one is that. But Medicare Advantage is where it costs more, but it's where they bring in private insurance companies to run Medicare itself. What we say we want is single payer is going to remove all that crap that you heard, that I just said about uh, Medicare, right? Because yeah. now it's going to be Medicare for all. Medicare for all means Medicare applies to all, period. And, okay. and as far as payment is concerned, here's it, my friend. It comes out of general fund. And what it means then is health insurance is paid out of taxes, and you pay taxes based on the kind of income you make. So if you make a little bit of income, you only pay a little bit of taxes. If you make a ton of income, you, make, you pay a ton of taxes. And out of that fund is what health care is paid for, and everybody is entitled to health care, no matter their status, their economic status in life. Is that clear? Very. Thank you. Thank you so kindly for calling in. Cheryl, please keep listening. Please keep calling. <laughs>